What is good, Greg Gang? We are out here today, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a science experiment. Now, for this science experiment, we're gonna be trying our best to recreate the blunderbuss. Now, this here is a picture of a blunderbuss. If you know a lot about pirates, or have ever played Assassin's Creed, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the blunderbuss was an old pirate shotgun, and the barrel of it was literally like that big. So, like, whenever the people ran out of shot, like lead to put down in it, they'd grab whatever they could, throw down in it, and just shoot it out at wh whatever they could. So, they were literally on a pirate ship, scrapping off the floor, nails and stuff, sticking it in and blowing it out. That's what we're gonna be doing today, but instead of a blunderbuss, we have a can cannon. If you are unfamiliar with what a can cannon is, it is an attachment that goes on top of an AR-15. You load blanks into it, you load a can into it. When the blank goes off, a lot of pressure creates in this tube, slings it out. But it's not just for cans, okay? You can also make these which are say boats. Earlier today, we went out to the dollar store, picked us up some Mountain Dew, just normal cans, whatever you want, came back home, emptied them out, cut them open, and then made the perfect little say boat round. And this is what they turn out to. It still fits perfectly in a can cannon, but instead of pop, you can put whatever you want to inside. And it should work all the same. Now that's fun and dandy on itself, but we want to test it in ballistics gel. Let's go check that out. Now, first things first, big thanks to Clear Ballistics. They're helping us out on this video by sending us the gel that we can actually shoot. But if you don't know what Clear Ballistics or Ballistics Gel is, let me show you. Now, Ballistics Gel is a rubbery substance that is extremely clear and the same consistency as flesh. Whether that be human, deer, animal, doesn't really matter, it's flesh. So, for example, say you's out here, like people usually do, take out their hunting gun. They want to see how good it'll be for deer hunting, what their special little round to do. They'll come shoot into this, see how far it goes in, and see what it does once it goes inside. For us, we're going to be doing the same thing, except we're not using a hunting gun, we're using nails out of a can can. Wish us luck. Now, even better than that is I'm going to have a super slow-mo GoPro watching the side of this the entire time. But, since we're shooting nails in this general direction, and I'll be honest, we don't really know where they're going to go. I need some protection for my GoPro. So, my GoPro is going to be sitting right there. I need this as protection, okay? We're going to need all the protection we can get. All right, well, there we go. Now, you may be asking, Kendall Dude, what are you going to be shooting out of that thing? And uh, honestly, that's a good question. We got about six or seven different materials that we thought either a pirate would maybe actually use or just would be cool. And we're just going to shoot them out and see what happens. This ballistic gel is super clear. And that's going to be perfect. That way we can really see what's going on. Look at that. Comes right off. And then right there, we have a crystal clear block ballistics gel and so whenever and whatever comes in we'll be able to see exactly how far and what it does when it goes in um uh you ready for the first one let's do it you know what the first one's gonna be yeah we gotta go get it first let's do let's it go. what do you think i think it'd be pretty cool i think this is gonna be i think this is gonna have potential to be one of our deadliest yeah in that case yeah i mean it's a bunch of sh small sharp projectiles. The only thing that separates this from something like lead is that these may have a tendency to break when they hit something hard and kind of break up. But I guess that's kind of what we're going to see. So I'm going to get me a good little test subjects worth right here. Different sizes, different colors, shouldn't matter. There right there should be plenty enough to stick in a can cannon. So uh, just a little more. A little bit more? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we'll stick the whole bag and all in there. No, we ain't going to do that. We don't want to die. I'll get us a little bit more. There we go. That there should be go. plenty. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go shoot it. All right, guys. Now, before we actually shoot the rocks, I think I want to show you guys how this actually works on a normal day, like on a normal basis. First thing, you put your pop can or soda can, if you're weird, okay, in top. Ready? It's a super snug fit. Goes all the way to the bottom. Next, load it with blanks. If you don't know what a blank is, there's no shell. All it does is uh, produce a lot of gas and make a noise. They use these for barreled grenade launchers, right, too? Like FAL type stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyways, probably didn't care. But you load one in. Normal AR-15, everything else is the same. I'm just going to blow this thing into the gong. So watch this. We'll do one more because that didn't exactly do much. Oh, gosh, it hurts, too. Does it? Yeah, it hurts. It like, it actually hurts. Dang. What you gotta think about is, uh, yeah, like, it's just shooting a pop can, but you're shooting, what, like a pound, probably? And, uh, one of the laws of inertia, or something like that? Uh, Abraham Lincoln? Uh, every force that goes that way pushes me back this way. 
or something like that. Anyways, we'll go ahead and grab one of our say boats here. Make sure it's ready to rock and roll. Now, I don't want to load it completely full of rocks because that's a lot of weight. This weighs more than a pop can, so this will actually hurt my shoulder. And you got to keep in mind, whenever something's really heavy, it's not able to travel as fast as something that would be lighter. So, yeah, we could sling a 25 pound of lead out there, but it's probably not going to do anything once it gets there. Little bitty rocks, they'll be able to do something. I'll fill this thing probably half full. That right there, I'm gonna call that good. Let me go turn on the GoPro real quick. GoPro is ready. All right, we are gonna be using eye protection and we're both kind of gonna be shielded with the Defender in case something does go wrong, which we're not exactly sure because this is the first time we've done it or as far as we know, many other people's done it too. So that thing is ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. New blank is loaded. Going into ballistics gel. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, um, surprisingly, I don't think it did much. It didn't look like it did. From what I could tell, it didn't come out as fast as a pop can. And from what also I could tell, it didn't expand. Yeah, it looks like we, uh, yep, you can see right here. It's kind of hard to see, but we had about three impacts of gravels and not a single one did damage. <laughs> what about that? I didn't expect that. I thought it would go in at least a little bit. I did too. Huh, that's funny, ain't it? I didn't I, expect that. I think the next one will go through. I do too. Let's go get them. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to be shooting is a pound of nails. Check these out. I think these are going to be some of our best performing. We're just going to get like a pound of these, stuff them in it, and uh, we must just see what happens. We're going to need a lot more than that. For this one, we're going to do it a little bit different. Instead of putting them in the can, we're just going to put the can in just as like a thing to hold the air, to push it out, and then we're just going to let the nails hopefully fly on their own. So, preferably, they won't stay with the say boat the whole time. That's the plan, at least. If we can make that happen... There's a screwdriver to tamp it down in there. Yep. Should be on the bottom right there. And here we go with one pound of finishing nails. I've Check. been anxious about the nails. These are going to be one of my favorites. Check those out. Those are super lightweight. If they catch the wind right, they're going to be extremely aerodynamic. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, too. Oh, yeah, and I do want to say this. We chose this specific location because we are shooting things that we will not be able to pick every single piece up. Like these nails, we're not shooting them out here in the middle of the field because we don't want a tractor to get run over them. We're shooting them up against a bank that is dirt, so there's no way anything can go behind it. It can't hit anything and there's also an extremely high chance that no one's ever going to mow that because they can't no so that's why we're doing it here we've thought this through pretty good that's kind of scary let's see it oh my goodness that is scary can you see that oh yeah a bunch of nails in there all right are you ready yeah, hey, why don't you just take the bag and add in the front of it so the nails won't fall out? Maybe it'll seal it a little better, too. All right. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, I came up with an idea. Instead of just shooting it directly into the thing, I'd like to kind of put this over it and cut out a hole for the gel. Because I kind of, I do want to see what kind of pattern it's going to come out and sling. Because, you know, in a normal shotgun, you have chokes that really narrow it down to make it stay together. There's no choke at all in that thing. It's just cylinder bore, pop can size, so. GoPro is on. We're ready to go. Get your eyes and ears ready, and we'll smack this thing in the face. Nails! Out of a blunderbust, modern day, in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. We missed the jail. That one hit hard. It hit hard. Dang, we missed the jail. And all of our nails are still right here. It knocked our GoPro protection down. Check out what it did to the board where it actually hit. There's nails sticking all over that thing. So we had a pretty decent pattern. Dang. I think we know what we got to do. We still have all of our nails practically right there. You know what I'm thinking. Just shoot the gel and see what it'll do to the gel is what I'm thinking. Yep. And we're going to get a whole lot closer. Oh, yeah. We're I about to see some damage. Just saying. All right, Ethan. Let's help me grab these nails and we'll load it up and almost pretty much point blank. This is going to be fun. You ready? Yeah, I guess. GoPro is on. New blank is in. Ready? Wow. Is 
It didn't do anything. Can you believe that? I can't. I can't either. Like those are literally just stuck to the gel. They're just stuck. They did not go in. I figured at least one would do something like that. But I guess none of them came out straight. I guess that's why they don't make bullets out of nails because they're not good like that. Pretty sure the GoPro got hit by a nail, but it just didn't do anything to it. That was crazy. That was really crazy. I'm surprised it didn't get... Well, what do we think about that? I think we should move on to something a little, a little better. The chain. It's definitely not going through, but it's gonna hit it. I think you're right. Let's go get the chain. I think we should shoot the chain into the box because maybe it'll like spread out too. All right, let's do it. I ain't even gonna shoot the chain into the gel because it ain't gonna do nothing. No. Now, what we're hoping is gonna happen is that this chain comes out, whips out, and kind of just starts doing one of these numbers. That'll be best case scenario. Well, it's not gonna penetrate the gel, I can say that. Because if the nails didn't penetrate the gel by just hitting it, this isn't either. I don't know if the can cannon's gonna be able to get this thing fast enough. So. How much is that, like two feet? Yeah, it's two feet of chain, 99 cents per foot. Therefore, I may never financially recover from this. But speaking of that, if you guys want to support the channel, help us come in here do stuff like this. One, you can subscribe. Two, you can comment. But three, you can also buy some merch. And if you want to use promo code CHAIN, all caps, you can get this shirt, these socks, or even the KG sunglasses, either color. Since we're using all three of these things in the video, you can get them for 10% off. Just use promo code CHAIN, all caps. And you don't even have to buy them all three. Either one of these, any of them. 10% off for that. KendallGreatWonder.com slash shop or first link in the description. First link in the description, use promo code CHAIN. But like I was saying just a second ago, I don't think we're actually going to shoot it into the gel because it ain't going to penetrate, but we're definitely going to get up close and shoot that thing into the cardboard and see if we can get a big hole about that big. Are you ready? Send it. That was depressing. What's going on here? I don't know. I think I know. We ain't getting compression. I've got an idea. I've got a good idea. This might work. It might not. Y'all ready for this? Full can, bigger walls to hold back pressure. Dude, this grass is gonna grow like crazy now. It's either gonna grow like crazy or be dead tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna grow. Next step, put the entire can in the can can and And chain on top of can. Comment below what you think's about to happen. I kind of like where this is going, but I don't think it's the safest. That's why we're doing it so they don't have to. Are you ready? Send it. Can cannon! It didn't really help that much, my man. It helped more than what it did, though. It did help. I mean, that would bruise a leg or something. This ain't what we came for, my guy. No. Hmm. Since this is a science video, I feel I should be allowed to give my scientific hypotheses okay check it full can means you have all of this surface area that stops the pressure from escaping but i guess when we took it out took the stuff out it caved in too easy so when we shake it up it gets even tighter so even less air can try to get out around so we should have full pressure going out of can that's shaking up but we just don't have enough space in front to put stuff or do we the answer is no, but we're going to make it work. Let's go get the nuts and bolts. All right, guys, come check out what we're on to next. We're going to get a wasper's nest and stick in it. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. You know what's bad? What? I'm allergic to them bad boys, so if they come out... Oh, yeah. Just uh, don't make funny faces at them, and you should be all right. They're not here to kill us. Them are. I feel like people are afraid of things that they shouldn't be afraid of. Like I feel a wasper, like... it's not going to attack you. It has no reason to attack you. Watch and see if he don't try to come off that nest after you. Well, if he does, he's just checking me out. If he lands on me, he's not going to sting me right away. Guarantee it. Otherwise, he'd just be stinging the truck the whole time. They'd just be wasting energy, stinging things they don't need to be stinging. But yeah, I'm just going to come in here and get big... Washers, nuts and bolts, pretty much a good little array of whatever I can find. Hardware, you can call it. That's a lot of waspers. Yes. There's like there's like 12. Yeah. They'll be all right, though. I ain't doing nothing to them. Move ever so slowly. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with the waspers. I'll probably just burn the truck and be done with it. What do you think? We can hit, oh look, look at that one. He's coming to check you out. Hey. He getting ready to get hit with some brake parts cleaner and a lighter. Alrighty boys and girls, this is what we came up with. We could have had a few waspers, but I don't think they would have flew too well out of the can cannon. I'm gonna do what I was talking about a minute ago. I'm gonna shake this bad boy up stick it in there and then as long as we can have a wadding to hold the stuff together until it gets out of the barrel which in this case is going to be this bag by golly i feel like that can work i just got to get a few of those out see we're losing weight but in turn we should be gaining speed because our overall load is lighter perfect perfect so far so good and we get a perfect package that fits in there. It's pretty close, my man. That there's pretty close. Now, what should happen, because I don't expect this bag to hold it in too well, so I think it should blow up. Hopefully, the bag, will, they'll just rip out of the bag and go directly into the target. That's the plan, at least. Eyes and ears, and let's get this done. I am not quitting until we have pieces of something inside that ballistics gel. Let's go. GoPro is on. Are you ready? I'm ready. That was pretty cool though. I think whatever that was came out pretty dang fast. It came out a lot quicker. Something hit this up. Uh... Oh man, we were so close. I don't know if y'all can see that. Obviously the red down here is the Coke or whatever, but that rust spot right there, that orange, that was actually something rusty that skimmed across the top and it just didn't penetrate. That was the closest one yet though. We're getting very close. We're getting very close. Dang man. I want to do the bolts and nuts that we took out of the last load. And I'm just going to pack it right up here. Try to make it as circular as possible. And you just wrap that thing up just like that. I think we can get this to work. We just gotta, you know, figure it out. It's just science and science stuff. Science is cool. All right, are you ready? Well, let's this should it. be about as good as you can get. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, man. Again, again, something just ain't cutting it. Quite literally, it just ain't cutting in. You can see the big rust spot, but it just didn't do it. What is going on? Huh. <laughs> I think we should move on to our last and final thing. No, we gotta shoot the brass. You think so? Yeah. Okay, stay tuned for the last thing because it's personally my favorite. All right, so the next thing we're wanting to shoot is something that me and Ethan just kind of have laying around everywhere, and it's a uh, old shell, so like brass. Check this out. Right down here, right here's some 7.62 from an AK just randomly just chilling right here in these gravels. So we're gonna pick up a bunch of these, and which these are technically steel case, but that don't really matter. There's some bullet casings. So like right here, I got a nine millimeter. Right here looks like another nine millimeter. Here's a 5.5 six here's a 22 here's a 17 hmr there's just all kinds of stuff around here and i mean honestly i don't think it'll be a bad thing to shoot out i mean it's just a bunch of little bits of metal should do pretty good i think especially all these 22s because they're light and fast wish us luck ready yep All the speed you could imagine man how did it not kill it this is an epic fail man i don't know what to do i was gonna move on to the final thing i guess so here we go if this one does not penetrate the block then nothing is going to and last but definitely not least shattered glass now uh listen guys this is this is probably one of the most dangerous things we've handled so far in my opinion at least i don't know how to do shooting out of a cannon but i know right now it don't even have to be moving at all for it to really hurt me pretty bad so that's why i got gloves on i don't think you should, guys should go out breaking glass because i mean it's pretty dangerous and you'll cut yourself don't you will do it. that's why i've got all this stuff on a hammer for length and eyes and all that good stuff but yeah why don't you put that in a bag then break it that's a really good idea Anyways, my next step is to get all the pieces of glass and put them on this board. Because if there's one piece of glass that I don't get to pick up, it could flatten a tire later. That's why putting it in a bag would probably be a pretty good idea. But I suppose it's a little bit too late for that. This is something I believe really would probably happen on a pirate ship. Glass? Yeah. 100%. Because they had glass back then. I believe you're 100% right. And that right there, boys, is all what we got. All of that glass right there is going into a can cannon at about 0.5. What is that? You know what it is. It already poked me once, but I'm a, I made it. I'm still alive. This is our most dangerous thing because it can kill us. Maybe not kill us, but 
it can hurt us without even moving fast. Bag should be empty. Nope, still got one piece in there hiding. Come on now, son. I ain't letting you get I ain't let you stay in there. Put that in front of it. Just to, that? Yeah. Alright. Just so we don't drop any. Okay. Good idea. Here we go. This is the most dangerous one yet. Yep. Are you ready? Not really. It's gonna happen though. Yep. You ready? I'm ready. If that did not penetrate, I will be upset. Nothing will. Ever. We definitely got hit with glass. Absolutely. So uh, just uh, be slow whenever you scratch it out of your hair. Yeah, it's in my hair. It's all right though. Okay, be very careful what we touch here. You can see that most of the glass hit right there, but did any go in? I'm unsure. I see a piece down there, but I don't know if it's inside or underneath. I'm pretty sure it cut it. I mean, it went it went in a little bit, but not really much. It it's just so barely... hot out here. Look, guys, our gel's melting. Yeah, our gel's melting on the dang table. Well, um, long story short, did it go through? I don't think it did. I think it just dusted it or the can like blew it apart as it's coming out. Wow. We got more glass than the block did, I feel like. Take it here from us first, guys. Can can and blunderbuss style? It ain't gonna work, old son. If you want to see another video we did with ballistic blocks, you can click right up here. Or you can click right up here for all of our gun-related playlists. A lot of cool videos in there, and I thank you. <laughs>